Good morning, children. Today we will start with chemistry in everyday life, chapter number 16 from module 2. So we will start with chapter number 16, chemistry in everyday life. The weightage of this chapter is again from the marks of this chapter. The weightage of this chapter is 3 marks. Very easy question you will be getting. 3 marks, 1 question. Then similarly, 2 marks, after 2 marks, you will be getting 1 question. And under 1 mark, you will be getting 1 question. So all together, 6 marks. Okay, so from this chapter, you will be getting 6 marks. It's a very easy chapter. So since it's a very easy chapter, you have to concentrate on few technical terms. Few technical terms. Everything I will be writing it on the board. All the topics I will be writing it on the board. You take down your notebook. Okay? As a notes. You start studying the notes. I have given you the worksheet. Based on this uh, today's topic, I have given you 8 questions. So ensure that all the 8 questions are being written by yourself, you are studying, you are writing from the notes which I am giving. So all the points which have been given in the textbooks will be given to you. You need not bother, you don't need to have any study materials or guides or something else. Whatever in the book that will be transformed in a simplified manner and I will be writing it from the book. You can take down, that will be more than enough. If you have any doubts, I will be creating a group and you can discuss with me in the group, I will be clarifying the doubts. Okay, most probably you will not be having any doubts. Is it clear? Now, from this chapter, what we have to study, we will see. So, from this chapter, first we must know what is meant by drugs. Then, second one, classification of drugs. Classification of drugs. Then, third one is Enzyme, drug interaction. Fourth one is receptor, drug interaction, drug interaction. Then fifth one. About medicines, drug medicines we have to study. Under these medicines, first we have to study about antacid, second one is antihistamine, third one is tranquilizer. then fourth one is among the six fifth one is antiseptic and disinfectant antiseptic and disinfectant and the last sixth one is so for Antibiotics you will put antibiotics and on the six antiseptic, then seventh one is anti-fertility drug. Anti-fertility drugs. Under medicines, we have to study all these things. This is the then sixth subheading which we have to study is. Artificial sweetening agents, antioxidants, then soaps and detergents. That's all. So, if you study all these eight. 
So five, six, seven, eight topics will be studied. The chapter will be getting over. The chapter will be getting over. So it's a very easy chapter. So we'll start one by one. So then it will be easy for you. Okay. So again, chapter wise, what I have written. So we are studying about chemistry in every day, right? Which will be all sixteen chapters. The weightage of the chapter has been given. And from this chapter, we have to study all these topics. What are the things? First one is about drugs. We have to study the classification of drugs, enzyme drug interaction, the receptor drug interaction. Then about the medicinal drugs, we have to study about antacid, antihistamine, transplantations, antibiotics, analgesics, antiseptic and disinfectants, and antifertility drugs. Next sixth topic is artificial sweetening agents. Seventh one is antioxidants, and eighth one is soaps and detergents. Okay, now. You can take note. Huh? Now we'll start with drugs. See, these drugs and classification, enzyme drug interaction, receptor drug interaction already are taken, and that video also has been sent to you. I came to know that it's not clear, so that is why again I'm writing it on the board. You carefully listen. So first one is drugs. See, when you take drugs or the chemical substances, drugs or the chemical substances. If the drugs are being taken in a permissible amount, as per the advice of a doctor or a physician, then it is a medicine which brings about a biological response. Biological response in the sense what? If we have any health ailments, that health ailment will be getting clear. That health ailment will be getting rectified. We will be getting ultimate cure after taking the drug. So that is called as what? Uh, the biological response. By reacting it with that of the targets. Targets may be in the form of any chemical substance, or otherwise it can be in any substrate, or otherwise it can be any kind of pathogenic organisms. Okay. Now you see. I will start with the first topic that is drugs. So drugs. So the first point on drugs it is a chemical substance. It is a chemical. substance and it is made up of this chemical substance or combined in a low molecular mass what is the low molecular mass range will be about 100 to 500 atomic Mass unit, unified atomic mass. U stands for unified atomic mass. That means unit. So this is the first point. So what is the drug? Drugs are the chemical substances which are combined in a low molecular mass. Which are combined in a low molecular mass. Now, this drug. The biological response is what? The biological response is the 
ultimate cure of illness. Ultimate cure of illness. Ultimate cure of illness. And so, till this. So, chemical drugs are there. It's a chemical substance which are combined in a low molecular mass. Okay, now it is made up of a low molecular mass chemical substances of about 100 to 500 atomic mass unit. These drugs can interact with the target substances like all these things, and as a result, it will be producing the biological response. Okay, so if this biological response, the biological response, if the biological response where I put a biological response has therapeutic value or therapeutic effect. What is the therapeutic effect? Therapeutic means treatment. Therapeutic effect. Then the drug are called as medicines are called as medicines ok so biological response if it is going to be a therapeutic effect then we call it as medicine then we call it as medicine next slide if these drugs or medicine is at least taken by a person or has been taken by a person above the recommended level then we are calling it as a potential poison if an individual if an individual consumes the drug above the recommended level above the recommended level then it becomes catalytic sorry then it becomes potential poison potential then we call it as a potential poison understood so we will ask you an examination what is potential poison if the drug or a medicine is has been taken by an individual above the recommended level then we are calling it as a potential poison example for the medicine is the last line example so last time i'm writing here the example is Chemotherapy. Chemotherapy. So when we take this chemotherapy, chemo means chemical. Therapy means treatment. Treatment using the chemical substance of our chemotherapy. So this chemotherapy is nothing but it is a medicine, it's a kind of a medicine which has a therapeutic value and brings about the biological response. It interacts with that of the targets. Can you understand? Shall we revise? That's all. What is a drug? Have you have to write all these things. About the drugs. Shall we revise? Shall we revise now? So, drugs. So, drugs are the chemical substance which are combined together in a low molecular mass of about 100 to 500 atomic mass unit. The drugs interact with the target substances. What are the target substances? Target substances are nothing but disease causing organisms, macromolecules like carbohydrates and proteins, and even certain biochemical reactions. All those examples which we are going to study now. Okay. Then, if this biological response has a therapeutic effect, then the drugs are called as the medicine. If an individual consumes a drug above the recommended level, then the drug or medicine becomes potential poison. So, example for the drugs are chemotherapy. Chemo means chemical, therapy means treatment. The treatment given for key treatment given for the ailment for the disease by using the chemicals, then we are calling it as the chemo chemotherapy. Upper, what are the technical terms you can use here? Uh, low molecular mass. Sorry. Ketone, isn't it? For a ketone, a ketone with a low molecular mass. That is for a half mark. Isn't it? The target substance. That is for a half mark. Which gives biological response. That is for a half mark. Then medicine. Ketones. 
that potential poison keto chemotherapy is a keto and this is causing all the macromolecules biomolecules is an another keto all together we will be getting three marks for this okay so the ketones you now again we will revise the ketones low molecular mass target substance biological response medicine potential poison and chemotherapy okay again revise what is that low molecular mass target substance biological response medicine potential poison chemotherapy so once again low on again again why i am telling you because you have to study now only you have to get into this chapter otherwise it will become very difficult for you so now on then you study so low molecular mass target substance biological response and medicine potential poison chemotherapy okay so i hope you would have understood this drugs so let's see now we go for the classification of drugs go for the classification of drugs classification of drugs so what are the classifications of drugs we have four classifications of drugs first classification based on pharmacological drug action third one is chemical structure then based on the molecular target okay so what are the classifications we have how many classifications we have four classifications based on pharmacological effect based on drug action based on chemical structure based on the molecular target now we see the first one is pharmacological effect under pharmacological effect the first point here we are taking the drug is it this drug will interact with the cells of the living organism it interacts with the cells of living organism so that means what the cells of the living organism will be acting as a target then there will be some infection microbial infection circular skin lesions skin inflammations ulcer rashes what so ever it is even tumors the benign tumors isn't it could have been formed so the drug will be interacting with set of what the cell target so drug interacts with the cell of the living organism which is called as the target which we are calling it as what which we are calling it as the target and the what statement can be given in a simplified way have written like this isn't it the statement the ability of a particular drug to bring about the desired therapeutic effect on the cells of the living organism we are calling it as pharmacological effect what is that the ability the ability of a drug to bring desired therapeutic effect on cells of living organism cells of living organisms then we are calling it as pharmacological effect so what is that pharmacological effect the pharmacological effect of being the the drug which interacts with the cells of the living organism that you keep it in mind and based on that you can find this sentence the ability of the drug to interact to bring a desired therapeutic effect because it is a medicine no the drug is a medicine which has to bring the therapeutic effect and bring a therapeutic effect means treatment which brings about the desired therapeutic effect on the cells of the living organism then we are calling it as pharmacological effect what is the pharmacological effect the ability of a drug to bring about 
the desired therapeutic effect on the cells of the living organism, we are calling it as pharmacological effect. So, drug interacting with the cells of living organism. Drugs interacting with the cells of living organism. So, example, next point is example. What can be the pharmacological uh, drug? What can be the pharmacological drug is the whole range of drugs. Say, for example, the whole range of drugs. The whole range of drugs like analgesics. What is analgesic? Analgesics or painkiller. Analgesics or painkiller. So, this painkiller. So, we, if we have headache also, we will have this analgesics. If we have stomachache also, we will be having analgesics. If we have leg pain, or otherwise, if we are going to have any other pain, muscular pain, or if we are going to have any spasm also, we will be taking only this analgesics as a painkiller. So, this is the whole range of drug. Analgesics are the whole range of drug which brings about the desired physiological, desired therapeutic effect on the cells of the living organism. Can you understand? So, the analgesics, so similarly, you can use. You, you can take antiseptic, antibiotics, antibiotics, antibiotics which enhance the immune system of our body. Antibiotics are the chemical substances which enhance the immune system. If the immune system is getting enhanced, then our body will start to fight against any type of disease causing organism. It cannot be only virus, it cannot be only bacteria, it cannot only be of fungi. Any type of organism the body will start to be fighting against because our immune system will be getting improvised. The immune system has been uh, multiplied. So when the immune system is very high then our body will acting as a defense mechanism fighting against a disease causing microorganism. For that we will be taking what? The antibiotics, the whole range of drugs. So example is the whole range of drugs. They are analgesics, antiseptic, antiseptic, disinfectants. We are using no sanitizers. Nowadays we are using sanitizers, antiseptic. Next one is antibiotic. I hope you can understand this pharmacological, pharmacological effect. If in the exam they are going to ask you about pharmacological effect, you will be writing two points. One is the ability of a drug to bring about the desired therapeutic effect on the cells of the living organism. Second point is it's a whole range of drugs. Example, analgesics, antiseptics and antibiotics. You will get lots of questions for the NEET exams. So, NEET exam question paper is based on this chapter. You will be getting 4 to 5 marks in your NEET exams from this chapter. So, this very easy chapter where you can get full marks. So, for NEET exams also, you have to focus on these aspects. Okay. So, pharmacological effect then of a drug which brings about the desired effect on the cells of the living organism. So, second point is what uh, the whole range of drugs, for example, analgesics, antiseptics, and antibiotics. Now, coming to the next one that is drug action. Second one is drug action. So, the drug action. And the first point for the drug action, the first point. So, what is the drug action? Similarly, we are taking the drug. The drug will interact with the biochemical reaction. Will bring about, will target the biochemical reaction. So what statement we can write? The ability of a drug to bring about the desired therapeutic effect on the biochemical reactions. On the biochemical reactions. Say for example, histamine. Histamine is a natural substance which is secreted in our body against allergy. So, it causes allergy. If any pollen dust, remember we are telling, no, the dust is allergy. Pollen dust, no, no, it becomes allergy. When allergy comes, what happens? There will be sneezing, we will be having suffocation, or otherwise rashes, skin allergy, skin infections will be there. So, we are calling it as an allergy. The histamine will be naturally synthesized in our body and it is responsible for allergy. When there is an allergy, it results in inflammation. So, this inflammation is called as what? Biochemical reaction in the body. This is a biochemical reaction in the body. So, biochemical histamine causes allergy. Because of allergy, there will be an inflammation in the skin which we are calling as biochemical reaction. To overcome this 
this biochemical reaction, we will be taking a drug. The drug is called as antihistamine. Antihistamine, it is will be a drug. So, drug action, the use of the drug is antihistamine. Now, this antihistamine will, will target this histamine and makes this histamine inactive. So, for the antihistamine, antihistamine is a drug which targets the biochemical reactions created by the histamine. So, now see, drug interacts the biochemical reaction. What is a drug now? Antihistamine is a drug. Targets what? The biochemical reaction. What is the biochemical reaction? The inflammation which is caused by histamine. Okay, so what is a drug? The drug we are taking is antihistamine. Antihistamine targets the biochemical reaction. What is the biochemical reaction? Inflammation, skin inflammation is a biochemical reaction. That biochemical reaction, inflammation is brought about by what? Bro brought about by the histamine. So antihistamine is the example for drug action. Understood? So drug action, antihistamine, drug action. Antihistamine is a drug which targets the biochemical reaction. The biochemical reaction is skin inflammation. The skin inflammation is caused by histamine. Histamine. Histamine is a chemical substance, a kind of a protein which is synthesized in our body, which causes allergic manifestation out of allergy. The inflammation occurs in the skin, which is a biochemical reaction. This can be rectified by using the antihistamine. So, antihistamine will be the drug that targets the biochemical reaction, which is inflammation. Okay. So, this is an example for drug action. Now, coming to the third one, that is chemical structure. So, third one is chemical structure. Based on the chemical structure, how the drugs are classified. So, for chemical structure, we draw a structure. So, aromatic ring, benzene ring, disulfide pill. So, sulfur which is bonded to two oxygen atom and amine derivatives with R group. And similarly, here also. NH2. This is called as sulfonamides, which is a sulfur drug. Example will be the sulfur drug. See, each drug will be having the functional group, specific functional group, specific ring structures. Isn't it? Now, what is the specification you can see here? We will be having here, in case of sulfonamides, there is an aromatic ring. Benzene ring is present. Now, this benzene ring is bonded towards the sulfur bridge. This sulfur, which is bonded to two oxygen atoms. Isn't it? Two oxygen atoms. So, which we consider, consider it as ketone group, which is a ketone or otherwise ketone. Isn't it? What is the function? This group, what is the formula for the ketone? C double bond O. This is, is that is the formula for ketone. Now, sulfur is instead of carbon, the sulfur is bonded towards the oxygen. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, it is what ketone. And then NH is what NH will be amine, hydrogen atom is there. Then R is present. What is that R? R will be the alkyl group. Alkyl group. 